Hey guys, Mike Champ. Before getting to this Disney video, a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, AG1. Been back from Asia for a little bit, but still on Asian time. So every single morning, get up really early, scoop of AG1, and then head to the gym. So, so scoop goes in, shake it up, and drink. So that's pretty much how I've been starting my day for the last couple years anywhere I am in the world. Ever since several years ago, I've been trying to take more vitamins, trying to be more healthy. So I used to drag around over half a dozen bottles of different vitamins I got off Amazon. They were heavy, they rattle around a lot. The vitamins themselves were hard to keep track of, they were expensive. Now every single day, a scoop or a travel pack of AG1. I get 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, which I desperately need. AG1 is always made with whole foods sourced superfoods. It's just a really convenient way to stay healthy. And since this is the only thing I take every day, saves me a lot of money as well. So you, when you get your box, you'll get a container containing the AG1. You'll get a bottle of immune supporting vitamin D and convenient travel packs. Also, AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. I mean, habits are hard to keep unless they're really easy to do. And every morning I take this, I go for a workout. I have more energy. I feel better. I got my parents a subscription. They love it. Like I said, easy daily habit to keep. So if you want to give it a try, Go to my link down below. You'll get a one year supply of vitamin D, which I highly recommend you take vitamin D every single day and five free travel packs with your water. AG1 really is a game changer when it comes to supporting your immune system because it really does give your body everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, I'm gonna hit the gym and you gotta check out this Disney breakfast buffet. Welcome to the Maricosta Hotel, and this is a Disney breakfast buffet. So on the buffet, you can find all the traditional stuff, like croissants, different pastries. Of course, there's Japanese food items like squid fish balls, braised chicken, assortment of fish. There's mint haiko, spicy cod roll, an assortment of Japanese side dishes. All in all, looks pretty good. Round one, got some squid fish balls. So this dish is basically a combination of fish balls and little pieces of squid. I like it. Squid is nice and snappy. Fish balls delicious, but the mushroom, wow. That's a delicious mushroom. Got some penne. Mm. This thing is cooked perfectly. Wow. The sauce is nice. The pasta is just exquisite. I got some tomato based uh, dishes and some braised chicken to kind of go with my, what looks like super fluffy scrambled eggs. Put some of that penne sauce on here. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Japanese scrambled eggs is something you gotta try. This country, the way they can manipulate eggs is just uncanny. And Japanese scrambled eggs, mm. They don't taste like regular scrambled eggs. Way softer, way fluffier. The quality of the eggs is better. Pop a tomato into it. Mm. It's just so soft and creamy. Got some French toast as well. Mmm. The crust on this French toast kind of resembles the crust on like a baguette. Super toasty and buttery. This is really good. Mm. So far, so good with this pup pepper. Really tasty stuff. Next plate, pastry plate. Got a little panna cotta. I think some kind of bun. Camembert cheese. Mm. This is a cheese and broccoli bread. 
It's interesting. The top part is really good, nice and crusty. The broccoli parts kind of just taste really soggy. I just made this cheese bread look Danish. This is amazing. Cheese Danish. It's just so flaky and buttery. Wow. Definitely use some Disney magic to make this. Mm. Amazing, amazing. This is the color of apple juice in this country. It actually tastes like freshly squeezed apples. This is called a cocoa bread. Oh, oh my God. This piece of chocolate inside. Hmm. I think this would have been really, really good if you microwave it. There's a giant piece of chocolate inside. If that was all gooey and melty and lava-like, I mean, this is already good. I think that would have been exceptional. Mmm. A pina is wonderful. This tastes like it was made with Hokkaido milk, which is just the world's best milk. And it adds an extra layer of creaminess to whatever you put that in. This is so good. Last round, this is the assortment of Japanese food items. There's seared salmon, there's seared redfish, there's glass noodles, green mountain jelly. One of my favorite things. I love it. It just tastes like a super uber crunchy pickle. There's egg and potato salad. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's really good as well. Fresh seared salmon. That's so yummy. I also got some sauces. This is a nori sauce. You're supposed to put this on a fish. Mm. That definitely adds a degree of umami and a slight sweetness to the fish. This is what I'm really excited about. It's a beef miso sauce. Mmm. I kind of turned that piece of salmon almost like a surf and turf meal. Definitely beefy, very salty. I like it. I chase that with some of the lighter appetizers. Also, I love adding mentai kol to pretty much anything. I'm gonna take a piece of my seared redfish, add some mentai kol to it. Mmm. I swear, Mintaiko makes everything better. It's pretty much umami essence. And they make it a little spicy as well. This stuff is super expensive too, so if you ever see this on a buffet, eat the heck out of it. Something else that looks really good is the curry. Super, super thick and meaty. Put that over rice. That is fabulous. This might be my favorite item on the buffet. Like I said, it's extremely meaty. It's also very spicy. Drizzle that all over Japanese rice. Creates this super fragrant, rich, deep, zesty bowl of pure flavor. Wow. Mm. Add some mintai ko to this. That is way too good. This breakfast at today's conversion, about 25 US dollars for something that's inside a Disney hotel. I think that's not a bad price point. You get tons of different foods, Western, Japanese, baked item. Everything tastes pretty darn good. And they open at 6 a.m. So if you ever come to a Disneyland in Japan or a Disney Sea, this is a pretty good way to get your day started. All right, I'm gonna go and get about three more bowls of this curry and um, I'll see you inside the park. Here we are, Tokyo Disney. Usually when I go to Disney, I start with food since I just ate. Let's go on a ride first. Just went on a couple rides and first food inside the park's gotta be soy sauce butter popcorn. That smells really good. It's very savory and it has a lot of umami. All the great flavors of a typical buttered popcorn, now with soy sauce. I think it's a pretty good combination. Maybe like an eight out of 10.
vending machine price is really not that outrageous here either. So about a buck fifty for a bottle of tea. Not bad. I just got one. Sparkling water. Donald Duck sparkling water. Actually, one side Donald, the other side Daffy. Next food item is gonna be at Captain Hook's Gallery. First of all, I love how everything is packaged here. So the pizza here is a specialty seafood pizza. It's thin crust pizza with pesto, shrimp, calamari, roasted peppers, olives, and of course, cheese. Like I said, the crust is really, really thin. Let's give this the old New York fold. But theme park pizza is not bad. Crust is a little soft, but still really light and airy. The shrimp is sweet, the calamari is snappy. Roasted peppers adds a nice, subtly sweet, smoky flavor. I think the cheese is not great, but the sauce is good, nice and tangy. Overall, not a bad slice of pizza. Next up, a Mickey Mouse Costella cake. I'm just gonna take a year off here. This thing has strawberry filling inside, but I think it's just in the head, not the years. There's in the years as well. This is really yummy. Cake is nice and light. Filling has a good amount of delicious, creamy strawberry filling. This is what I got. Highly recommend. Buttery, sweet, creamy. Pretty much just really delicious Japanese sponge cake. Oh, I didn't notice this. There's actually scallops on this pizza too. A lot of different types of seafood on this slice of pizza. Just got an onigiri burger. This is a seared rice bun burger. And of course, the rice bun is the shape of Mickey's head. Inside, thin slices of beef, a little bit of greens, a bunch of gravy, and I saw a bunch of people eating this. Teriyaki chicken leg. Tragedy just struck. I was holding the, the burger and the top bun fell. So now I just got a Mickey Mouse onigiri open face sandwich. This is really good. Really, really tender and juicy, flavorful drumstick of a chicken. Big teriyaki flavor without too much of the sweetness. This might not be as big as a traditional theme park giant turkey leg. It tastes so much better though. Mm. Wow, those things are just so juicy and so much flavor. All right, this is an eight out of 10. Now my Onigiri open face sandwich. <sighs> I'm being cursed by the ghost of Mickey Mouse or something. The beef is actually melt in your mouth tender. The greens are a delightful compliment. The sauce is really good too. Such a shame. Drop such a big piece of this. Mm. The slices of beef just melts in your mouth. I'm just gonna drown my sorrows in my teriyaki chicken leg. Mm. Last meal of the day. Another buffet. Buffet number two is at the Crystal Palace. This is a place where you definitely need a reservation before getting here. I got a quick glimpse at the buffet before coming to the table. It looks pretty darn good. Um, but the thing is, you only get 75 minutes to finish off and, and pretty much get out. So let's start eating. This buffet looks really good. First section, saw some chicken curry, some smoked duck, octopus salad with broccoli, a salmon rice bowl, prosciutto with mango, all you can eat sushi as well. Smoked duck looks beautiful. Octopus salad looks yummy. There's a vermicelli salad. Like I said, sushi. This is a, it's a shrimp and chicken katsu roll. And this I think is a vegetarian roll. And of course, like I said, got some chicken curry just because I had such a good experience with curry from this morning. Mm. 
the chicken curry is delicious. The texture of this curry is very similar to what I had this morning. Very rich, very flavorful. The only difference is this morning the curry was loaded with meat. This one can't really find the meat. Still though, absolutely fantastic. I don't know whether it's just because it just doesn't come with a lot of meat or the curry that I have, it was running really low. So maybe there is a lot of meat. It's just all chicken. Mmm. Octopus salad is so good. I love this buffet already. I remember eating at Crystal Palace in Orlando. It was a roast beef, things some fried chicken. Not all that impressive for about 45 bucks here. 33 US dollars, that's including tax, gratuity, and it's this thing's on a whole different level. Mmm. Roma chili salad. Wow. Noodles deliciously al dente. Little sour, hint of sweetness, little heat. Shrimp and chicken inside. Mmm. What a refreshing, delicious bite. Katsu. Not bad flavor. Texture is not the greatest. I bet you the smoked duck's gonna be awesome. Yes, yes. 100% yes on the smoked duck. That's one of the best bites of smoked duck I've had anywhere. It's so tender and smoky. The fat, the meat, just bounces so well in your mouth. That was magical. Prosciutto with mango. Usually you see prosciutto with melon. I think it's better with mango. That mango is so sweet. That makes with a beautiful smoky bite of the prosciutto. Sweet, tangy, savory, smoky, earthy. Doesn't get much better than that. It's also a salmon bowl. Mm. Bites of melt in your mouth. Fresh salmon, little cucumber. I don't think I had a single bad bite on this plate. That rarely happens at a buffet. Not to mention at a Disney buffet. Let's go for round two. so many items on this buffet. Oh, I made a mistake. The Crystal Palace I was at last time in Orlando, the breakfast was 45. Dinner, 59. And definitely didn't taste as good as this. Mm. Got some potato salad. Got a little soft boiled egg to shape up Mickey's head. Oh, so good. It's so gooey. There's also some mapa tofu. That's not bad. It could be mapo -er, er but it's spicy, it's nummy. Tofu is deliciously soaky. That's a good dish. And then there's some braised beef. Mm. This is so, so tender. Stewed in this delicious, spicy, curry esque sauce. Mm. The potato is good. The beef is amazing. This is the best meal I've ever had in the land of the mouse. You're not even done trying the rest of the items on the buffet yet. Savory custard. Oh my gosh, there's stuff in here. That fish cake? Oh, I found Mickey Mouse in my custard. That was a Mickey Mouse fish cake. Oh, this is a steamed egg with fish cake, mushrooms, and a ginkgo nut. Delicious. Pasta? Mm. Pasta with some pesto. There's not a lot of flavor in these noodles, but if you treat this as a dish to eat something else with, like the stewed beef or another very savory meat item, this is a perfect companion. Round three, 30 minutes left. Still haven't got through everything on that buffet. They managed to snag another Mickey egg though. I wonder how they made the yolk like this. Maybe gave the chickens a subscription to Disney Plus. I, I don't know. Shrimp tempura. Mm. Oh, such a nice subtle little crunch. That was really, really good. This is a chili shrimp. Mm. The outside bread is a little soggy, but it's got a good amount of heat. Also, they got pieces of karage, and I want to say they really refill the buffet very quickly. As soon as something's out within probably a minute, it's refilled. 
karage is good as well. There's seafood spaghetti with clams, scallops, mussels. The spaghetti is al dente. The sauce is creamy and zesty. Good amount of seafood flavor in here. Noodles themselves, very al dente, very chewy. Chase that with a pork cutlet. This is fried so nicely. Outside a delightful crunch, inside a tender cut of pork. I'm trying to hurry it up a little bit. There's still a lot of food I haven't tried yet. This is a little Japanese hamburg steak. Mm, this thing is so soft. Inside, little bits of onions. This thing is meaty, it's juicy. Good flavor inside and out. Actually goes really, really well with the spaghetti. I'm gonna put the spaghetti over this cut of roast beef. So this is Japanese roast beef. It's already falling apart. Mm. Get out of town. Not just tender, but also fatty and buttery. Mm. The gravy they pour on top of that is delicious as well. This is cut of chicken. Mm. This chicken is awesome. Zero dryness, juicy, soft. It has some sort of deeply embedded umami flavor here as well. This is just so beautiful. Little Mickey egg. Eat that with my spaghetti. Mm. And chase it with a piece of roast beef. 75 minutes for this buffet. It's not low enough. And 19 minutes left, dessert time. It's like a purple bun with purple whipped cream inside and jam. And it tastes pretty much exactly like a fluffy, airy bun with whipped cream inside and jam. This is really interesting. This is a Mickey Mouse milk pudding. Like I said, when it comes to milk products, Japan just always does it the best. Mm. An extreme creaminess is balanced out by that sweet, fruity sauce. I don't know what this is. It's some kind of pudding. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This is the greatest pudding on this buffet. It's a Japanese pudding with caramel on the bottom. And the pudding is just so, so, so beautifully soft. It tastes like you're eating pure soak. This is really cute. Mickey Mouse Glove. I think it's a chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse with raspberry or strawberry sauce. Delicious. High five. This is a tea chiffon cake and it's sitting in a, in a little Beauty and the Beast teacup. Oh, this thing is so delicate. This is a very spongy, very airy cake. And you definitely taste the tea. Delicious. Mickey Mouse tiramisu. Everything here is so good. The savory dishes were good. I didn't even skip a beat when it came to the desserts. This little alien dude. As soon as I glanced at the buffet, I saw a bunch of these little alien dude mochi guys staring up at me. Ooh. It's a chocolate mochi. Mm. Strawberry shortcake. It's strawberry season, by the way, right now. There's a reason you're seeing so much red on buffets in Japan during this time. A little bit of churro. Roll cake. Strawberry roll cake. I think that's good. Nothing too stand out about it. Last piece of dessert, apple tea cake. That is a delicious bite of dessert. Taste the apple, taste the nuts, the tea. Everything just works so well here. And that is pretty much every single item on that buffet. Over 95% of which, not just delicious, like extremely, extremely delicious. This is not just the best Disney restaurant I've ever eaten at. This is one of the few buffets out there where so many things taste so good. I wish this place wasn't located inside of Disney, so I'd come back and eat it again. If you are ever in Tokyo and going to Disney and you get a chance to dine at this restaurant, 100% do it. I can't recommend it enough. They definitely put a ton of that Disney Disney magic in here. And again, this this restaurant is located in a lot of Disney's out there. I'm just talking about Disney Tokyo. Like I said, I've been to the one in Orlando. It's good. It's fine. Nothing sensational. This is sensational. This tastes like Mickey Mouse put on that wizard hat and just waved a wand and magic just got all up in this food. Again, just wish they would increase the time limit. 75 minutes. 
not nearly enough. I enjoyed that buffet so much, I bought a hat. And that wraps up another magical food day here at Disney Tokyo. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.